So we're at Thrift USA. It's Saturday morning. I live for Saturdays. I work during the week and I can't wait for the weekend so that I can go shopping. But anyway, we're going to head inside and see what they have and uh, we'll go check it out. I'm going to try out a new camera today. It's not a new camera. I've owned it for a little bit, but it's a, it's a different camera and I'm going to try it and see if we have success with it. We'll see. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're going to try out a new camera today, and I already see some great stuff from afar. So anyway, let's see. Let's see this real quick. I think I looked at this. That looks old. They've got $19.99. I'm going to look at that and hang on to that. I wonder if it used to have a lead. I'm not sure, but I'm going to hang on to it for a few minutes. Let's see what else they have up here. It's the same. Look at this. This is cute, but I, I think I looked at it last time too, because I remember that um, sticker on it. We're gonna, look how cute that is. Oh, the picture looks like it's supposed to have a top. Anyway, and I see some items over here that look super interesting. Look at this. How cute that is. Oh my gosh. $2.99. There's no lid though. I'm going to grab it for now. Oh my god. I was worried we weren't going to find anything today. These are 99 cents each. Look how cute that is. Okay. I have to get around this sign here. So let's go over here. Look at this face. They probably have a really, oh, it's been repaired. I wonder, it looks like a Bristol vase, but I'm not sure. But look at that giant repair job. That's sad. I think these are Fostoria. Okay, let's look over here. I see pink depression glass. This is interesting. This has a big spout on it. Well, what is that? That's very mid-century modern looking. It's almost like a cup. $14.99. We're going to hang on to that for a moment too. Okay. Not really seeing anything else here that I'm interested in. Oh, sad about that vase being broken. Okay, let's look over here. Okay. Look at this guy. Is that mine? Maybe if they have all this, they got some stuff. Look at that whole tree. That thing is beautiful. Wow. Okay, hold on. I gotta get rid of something. There's no room in this room. I gotta get rid of something here in the cart. Hmm. Okay. I did look at the squirrel there. He, I'm afraid maybe Chinese. Just looking at his little feet. And I think they want like $14.99 for him. 
Hopefully you can see that. Let me just make sure of that. Okay, there he is. The squirrel there is $14.99 and I think he might be Chinese. So, just some of this other stuff. Now, I did get two items that they've already taken up front and I'll show those to you later. They're two Asian dolls that were sitting right here. They're $19.99 each. That statue is really pretty. I don't know, let me see if I can see the price on it. I don't know what they have on it, but it's really pretty. Let's see. Not much over here. And then there is a lot of Wedgwood. Now, I'm going to pass on it probably because the pieces I would be interested in, they have them really marked up. So it'd be like this vase, which is $29.99, or this, which is $24.99, or the bowl, which is $19.99. The smaller pieces are cute. I'm going to Google them, but, you know, Wedgwood's all over the place. This is $19.99, just more than what I want to pay. Other than that, there are these cups, but they're not marked. They're probably in a pond or something, but there's six, five of them, I think. There's two more down there. There's no pot or anything with them, so I think I'm going to pass on those. And then all this other stuff I've kind of already gone through. Now remember, if there's anything you see here, or anything in my cart you find interesting, it will be listed in my eBay store, which is in the description underneath. Okay, let's go check out the rest of the place. Okay, so we're looking at this. Now, I just noticed that this stuff here is the same as my big platter over here. And they want quite a bit, $5.99. Is that per plate? Yeah, they have really priced this stuff up. There's no way. And this one's got chips on it. So, I'm gonna look at the platter here shortly and see if we're gonna get it. But yeah, there's a whole stack of that stuff down there. These are more of the same item that I have in my basket, which I don't know if I'm gonna be able to look those up. What about that duck here? That looks old. Japan, wow. That is nice. Nine ninety nine. Sorry, I can't get him at a good angle. Here. He's old. It's kind of crazy on it, but it actually, and look at his feet. I think he's old. If you look at the inside, look at that. That looks old. Okay, I think I'm going to put him in my basket. Oh my God, where? Okay, please don't cringe when I put him down like this. Anything else? This is really pretty. It's old too. Four ninety nine. It's got a big crack. It's from age, but I'm thinking this Teleflora. I looked at that last time. Okay. I'm not seeing too much over here. This looks a lot like the same. It's 
stuff. Okay, I got a lot of deciding to do. But we have a couple other places to go look. Well, let's go look over here. This is the salt and pepper sugar area. Let's see if anything new came from the cell. Ah, let's see these real quick. I'm just, I know they're not, they look modern. Yeah. I'm not sure. This is a lid, which is unusual. And painted Japan. That's cute. It's got some little lemons on it. I feel it feels like it maybe a chip under the tape, but I'm not sure. That's cute, but it's just a single. <laughs> right now? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's take a look over here. These are cute. This is dogwood. It's a flower of Virginia. But they're not marked. Hey. Here's one of the pieces similar to what I got last time. $2.99. It's actually executed pretty well. I might grab that. It's not marked. It looks old. It's got age to it. Sometimes the ones that aren't marked are from the 1800s. So I'm not an expert, but I do have a book at home. We'll see if we can find it. Let me double check something on it. I mean, it is definitely hand painted. It doesn't have any enameling on it. But, that's okay. So what else do we have over here? Our glasses. I saw these, these look like Dorothy Thor, but maybe they go to the chip and dip or something. But the silver is not great. So I'm not gonna get those. Let's kinda go down here a little bit. These are interesting. Hmm. These look like something I've seen before, but of course they're not marked. either. That's interesting. What is that? Is that a lamp? No. I guess it's just for candles. I don't know if you can see the top up there. Okay, let's check out the figurines. Now, this has been here, but they had like $19.99 on it or something. Oh, now they've marked it down to $14.99. I still think that might be too much. I don't know if that's broken out or it should be like that. I still think it's kind of high. Here real quick. Okay, 
That's interesting. It's got a mold number on the bottom, but it feels like it's, and it's got a giant chip in it. It doesn't feel great when you pick it up. Oh, the Scotties, it looks like some of them sold. Or they just got moved. Okay, I'm not seeing much over here. But let's look at these ducks real quick. That one's had his beak broken off, and right? Um, yes, and re glued back on. Let's look at this guy. He's very lightweight. He is marked. I can't read that. A glare made in. Uh, he's pretty. Um, maybe I'll stick him in my cart and I'll look him up. Well, hold on, what is this? It's really cute. It looks like it's the top of something and it's been all glued back together. So. Interesting. <laughs> like who would want that? What is it? Oh, it's a top to something. What is this stick? Blue wing teal by Andrea. I know that stuff is somewhat collectible, but I don't want to mess with it. Is this a cat? What is this? Yeah, oh, he's cute. Made in Thailand. I guess maybe they got someone's duck collection here. This is like a little lint brush or something. He does have a sticker. Made in Taiwan is what the sticker says. What is this? Made in Italy? That is a really cute basket. Let's see, $4.99. Doesn't look like it's chipped or cracked. Maybe we'll grab that for a moment. I got a lot of work to do. Okay. Okay, one other area we're going to go check, the vases. Let's see what this is. Quite large, quite heavy. $24.99. It is marked. Let's see if we can read that. Not for food use. It's in all different languages, so we're going to put that back. Careful. I don't really see anything else. See what this is. Nita. It's probably German, maybe. This looks like a ginger jar. No lid. Oh, look at that. That's kind of cute. Oh, gosh, dang it. Now I must break something. Let's look at this. Looks like a crystal. 
glass and it's got Dolly has some dust in there. Is that someone's name? It's really cute. Let's see how much they want for it. Six ninety nine. Okay, just adding to my issues down here. Get a chip. I don't know if you've noticed, it's very quiet. No music. Made in Taiwan. Okay, I think that's going to be it. Okay, I'm going to go through everything and then I think what I'll do is a separate video. Sure. What are you going to up with? That's cute. So this is what I'm taking back. I've looked a lot of this stuff up. I mean, for what they have it priced at is what about, you know, there wouldn't be much of a profit. This, I'm really, really sad. It's got a giant chip here on the beak that I didn't notice before. But all this is going back. Now what I am keeping is this stuff over here. So I'm pretty sure this is a Bristol vase. It's got more information on it. I think it probably came out of an antique shop somewhere. It's really pretty. The painting, hand painting is really well done and in good shape. These, so the Spode Bright Rosebriar, it sells, these are $2.99, but I couldn't find the double-handed soup bowl, so I'm hoping that those will be something someone will want. Thinking about keeping maybe, this is not marked. No, I'm sorry. It is marked Germany. Um, it's really pretty. I'm thinking about keeping that. And then this I'm keeping. This does not have a mark. And then this stuff does pretty well. I couldn't find, um, I'm not sure I'm getting that in the view. This here does pretty well. I couldn't find this exact little, like, celery dish or something, but I'm going to take a chance on that at $2.99. Then I'm thinking about keeping this. It is Japan. It's missing the lid. But look how cute. It's got two little cups that match it so I'm thinking about keeping that and then of course the decanter I didn't even look it up I think it will do well it's very mid-century modern $14.99 I'm gonna go ahead and keep that okay that's it for this store let's uh we're gonna go check out oh the two um Japanese dolls they are like I'll have to show you I'll show them to you in the car. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get those as well. They were $19.99 each. Um, okay. Okay, I wanted to show you the two dolls that I ended up getting. So, they have some age to them for sure. Let me make sure that this is on them. Uh, my camera has a little gimbal on it. But anyway, um, they're definitely faded from the sun. And they have some deterioration in the back. So I'm pretty sure they're pretty old. Um, you can see the difference in the color, but these are really nice. I, their hands are all perfect. They're not broken. Um, they were $19.99 a piece, and I thought I'd just take a chance on them. I thought his fingers were broken at first, but I don't think they are. Um, it looks like it, but he's just got his finger. I forgot, isn't that a symbol or a sign? I'm not sure. But anyway... Um, they look really old. I mean, they've definitely been in the sun somewhere or faded. Um, but I think someone will like them. I don't think I... I mean, I was willing to take a chance at $19.99 on them. But um, 
we'll see how they do. I'm not a fan of this kind of stuff, but I know that a lot of people like it. So we'll see how they go. Okay. And then everything else was here. I spent $81. Um, everything else is here in the bags and uh, you saw all of everything that I purchased. So anyway, we're going to head off to another place right now and uh, it's just down the road and we'll see what they have. Here we go. Okay, that wraps it up for Thrift Store USA this Saturday. And uh, I spent a total of $81, and I put a lot of stuff back that I originally picked up just after doing some research and looking on eBay to see what it kind of goes for. But I did keep several pieces, and the two dolls that I just showed you, those are those will be interesting to see how they do. I'm kind of, um, I'm definitely, definitely um, interested in seeing how they do. Okay, well... Thank you for joining me, and if there's anything that you see that you think that you would like, um, please visit my eBay store. It's in the link below, and I will see you soon. Bye.